Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm glad to be here in St. Louis today. I always like coming to the Philippines. I've been here five or six times, and it's a great place. And people are very friendly, so I'm very happy to be back to you. So my name is Bruce Feldhusen, as you can see. And I'm here to talk to you about something that I think is very unique and special. And I've been in international education for a long time. I'm old. So I've been in, edu in international education for about 25 years. And this is a very unique program. And I want to talk to you a little bit about it today. So we're going to talk about a tri-consonant degree. And it's something different, it's something unique, and it's going to take a little bit of time to explain it, but I hope you have a few minutes that I can tell you all about it. Okay, so here's a summary. You can get your U.S. degree from a fully accredited university, it's Lamar University in Texas. You can also get what's called a level 5 diploma from the UK. I'll tell you a little bit more about that as well. You also get your degree from a Thai university. And the, twi the total tuition for this program is actually less than $20,000. And that's not per year or per semester. That's for the entire four-year program. So it's a really unique program, and I hope you're all interested to hear more about it. So let's talk about cars. We have a lot of girls here today, not a lot of guys. But hopefully some of you like cars. And what's the best car in the world? Well, uh, it's a matter of opinion. I suppose, but you know, some people might say the Rolls Royce is the best car in the world. Somebody else might say a Ferrari is the best car in the world. Yeah, they're very good cars. They're, if not the best, two of the best cars in the world. But if you look outside on the streets today in St. Louis, do you see a lot of Rolls Royces or Ferraris? No, you don't see very many Rolls Royces or Ferraris. Why not? Because those cars are really expensive. Not many people can afford those cars. They're $150,000, $200,000, $300,000. I don't know what that is in pesos, but it's a lot, okay? They're just a very expensive car, and so you don't see those cars. What you see is normal cars, like a Toyota Yaris or the Suzuki Swift. And I have this car on the bottom, this blue Ford EcoSport, because this is my car. I have a Ford, blue Ford EcoSport, exactly my car. And why do you see those kind of cars? I mean, a lot of people have cars, right? It's not rare for people to have cars, but it's rare for people to have Ferraris and Rolls Royces. Why is that? Just because people can't afford them. You know, a normal car might cost you about $20,000, Every month for four years, you have to pay $400 or $500 a month. Okay, really poor people can't afford that, but a lot of people can. That's not out of the question. That's not something that people couldn't even dream about. If you have an okay job, this is something that you can afford. And I'm sure some of you or your families or your friends who have cars. Now, why do I talk about cars? Well, in the world of education, there's Rolls Royces and Ferraris, and then there's Toyotas. In the world of education, generally speaking, American degrees and UK degrees are the Rolls Royces and the Ferraris. The problem is they're really expensive to get for most people. So now we're going to talk about this very unique program. Most importantly, it's a degree from Lamar University. And you get this bachelor's degree in intercultural leadership with a minor in business. You get the NVK level, NVQ level five diploma from the UK. And finally, you get your bachelor's of business administration from Science Technology College. And it's all based in Thailand. Okay, we'll talk about that more in a moment. Okay. A lot of you are probably thinking, gee, getting a degree from a U.S. university, maybe it's really difficult. Maybe it'll be so hard, I won't be able to take it. You know, I'm, I'm just studying here at a local school. Well, can we tailor this program for people in Asia? And the most important thing is the first year, 
is a really special program where we help you become accustomed to studying in the Western environment. I've lived in Asia for a long time, 25 years. And I understand that in Asia, a lot of the, a lot of the time when you study, the teacher lectures and you just kind of sit quietly and take notes and then you take a big exam. Well, Western education is very different than that. It's very participatory. Everyone's joining together in groups and participating and asking questions and presenting and discussing. So the first year, we help you become accustomed to that kind of education. And you don't need to take your TOEFL or IELTS exam until after the third semester, halfway through your second year. And then if for some reason it's too difficult, it's not that you have to drop out and you get nothing. You can still obtain your MVQ from the UK, or you can still obtain your degree from, from Thailand. So, you know, don't worry. Don't worry. And let me say something else, which isn't on my slide. You know, a lot of people aren't necessarily very good at sitting in a classroom and listening to the teacher and then taking an exam. The environment here will be much different and your skills as a student might be more, more easily convey, conveyed in this kind of environment. Your skills as a student might be better in this kind of environment than in the normal environment where you just listen and take a test. Okay, so we really want to make this open to everyone. And especially for the people who are really interested in participating in their education. Okay, so we're going to talk about tuition. It's less than $20,000 for all four years. And even if you include food and housing, it's around $27,000. And that's why we base it in Thailand. First of all, it's easy for everyone to go to Thailand. You don't need to get a, diff a difficult visa. You know, getting to America on a visa, it's very difficult. But you, everyone in this room can go to Thailand tomorrow. It's easy. It's easy for us to get you an education visa. And so we're, we're, we're recruiting students from all over Asia and even from the West to come to study in Thailand. Because, number one, we can offer very low tuition. Number two, even the cost of living is extremely low. So people who couldn't normally afford that Ferrari or that Rolls Royce can afford this Ford EcoSport, right? It's the same car, you just pay a lot less. It's a real U.S. degree from Lamar University. Okay, more about Lamar. You know, there are 3,000 universities in America, and we break them down into three groups. They're called Tier 1, Tier 2, and No Tier. Okay, Tier 1 are the 25 universities everyone's heard of. Stanford, Harvard, Yale, the Ivy League schools, UCLA gets in there as probably the only public school, maybe UC Berkeley as well. But there are two things about the Tier 1 universities. First of all, they're almost impossible to get into. And number two, they're very, very expensive. But they're very famous. I mean, if you can get into Harvard or Yale or Stanford and you have the money, boy, it's great. But most people don't. You know, most Americans don't go to Tier 1 universities. Most Americans go to what we call Tier 2 universities. Tier 2 universities are normally run by the states. They're very well respected and very well recognized. But they're not as expensive or as difficult to get into. Now, if you're an international student, it's still going to cost you $150,000 to get that degree, even from a tier two university. But there are really good universities. I went to University of Oregon, and got my master's at Portland State in the United States. Those are both tier two universities. They're very well respected. Lamar is a tier two university. It's in the state of Texas. Founded in 1923, there's 15,000 students. It's a great big campus in Texas. It's in Beaumont, which is near Houston. It's a good, solid university. And understand that there's a third kind of university. It's called no-tier. 
And there are maybe a thousand of these no-tier universities in America. I can think of a couple, I won't name them, but they're not accredited. They're not regionally accredited, they're not research institutions. They're normally private, basically to make money and to get students who will pay their tuition, but they're not good universities. So when you're looking at a US university program, especially in Asia, pay attention to what kind of university it is. And if it's not a tier one or tier two, do not go there. But the nice thing about this program is that it's a tier two university in Texas. All these universities run by the state of Texas. There are 32 or 33 of them. And Lamar is one of them. Okay. The thing about this program also is that it comes, even though it's based in Thailand, everything comes from the university in Texas, from Lamar. All the courses, all the course descriptions, all the syllabi, all the course content, and of course your final diploma, all come from Lamar University in Texas. It's completely transparent and completely identical in every way. And that, that's important in something for another reason that we'll talk about in a minute. Okay, the instructors are also through Lamar University. This is Jeff Rock, he's the program director. Very, he's, a, he's a retired State Department employee who worked for U.S. embassies all over the world for 25 years. And now he wants to teach, so he's in Thailand teaching. Very, very intelligent guy. If you look on the bottom, he can speak, read, write, Thai, Chinese, and he can even speak Indonesian. He doesn't speak Tagalog or Cebuano, I'm sorry. But okay, you guys all speak English, it's okay. Okay, here are some other instructors. Robert Griffin, also from the US, USA, he has his MBA from Harvard. Uh, Mark Sulliger, he's from Texas Tech, one of the Texas universities. And then I'm down here on the bottom. Now, NVQ, we talked about NVQ. What's in NVQ? Okay. In the UK, they have these things called NVQ, National Vocational Qualifications. And then the UK does a really good job of packaging their educational programs, standardizing their educational programs. In America, we don't. Every university and every state is different, and they don't match up very well. <coughs> but in the UK, they do. So they have these things called natural vocational qualifications. And <coughs> if you get this level five, which is what we're offering through this program, you've basically completed three out of four years of a degree. You can actually take your NVQ level five diploma, you can go to any UK university, and you can spend one more year there and also get your UK degree as well. So, you know, the nice thing about this is that it's multicultural, multinational. You know, the third degree is from Thailand from Science Technology College, our university partner there. Uh -oh. Yeah, thank you. And so, in the end, you get three qualifications for three continents. So, you know, think about your future. What's an education for? An education is to prepare you for your future, to prepare you to get jobs, and to prepare you to live your life. <coughs> if you have three qualifications from Europe, UK, US, and Asia, it will open a lot of doors for you. We talked about how that this program is completely, is completely transparent and identical to the US degree at Lamar University. Because of that, it's completely flexible. So you can spend all four years in Thailand, and you save a lot of money if you do that. Like I said, total tuition and food and housing expenses estimated at $27,000 total for four years. You can fly to Texas for one day and get your degree. You can spend three and a half years in Thailand and one semester in the United States. You can spend three years in Thailand and one year in the United States. 
or two years in Thailand and two, two years in the United States. The point is, it's completely flexible. If you have the money and you want to go to the United States, you can at any time because everything is identical. You never have to worry about when you can go or, or when you have the right classes to go because everything is identical. Okay, our first program that's beginning actually right now is in business administration, international business. We have two more programs coming up. Hospitality management will start and then computer science as well. And we're working on something right now that might be really interesting and hopefully really exciting for students in the Philippines. We're working on a program where every year students can go to the United States for four months on a work and travel program. So they would study for eight months in Thailand and then go to the United States for four months, basically free, because, well, I can't say free, you'll have to work. But you'll work, which will pay for your flight and your accommodation, and might even give you a little bit of money that you've saved when you come home. But we're working on that right now with the U.S. State Department. Fingers crossed that will be finalized soon. But that's a program that we're looking to add to this right now. Okay, we talked about cars. So, maybe you want to go out and buy a car. You spend $20,000 over four years. Every month you make your car payments. And at the end of four years, what you have is a four-year-old car. Four-year-old cars aren't very cool. They're not very fun. They're just old cars, right? But with our program, you know, this is really an investment in your future. So, if you can afford, basically, to buy a normal car, that same amount of money will give you, hopefully, a lifetime of opportunities. Okay, so imagine that it's four years from now, or five years from now, or ten years from now, and you're sitting in a job interview. Let's say it's in Singapore, or maybe it's in Berlin, or London. It doesn't matter where, really. And you're sitting there next to your clone, and your clone studied at a university in the Philippines. It might be a very good university in the Philippines. And you studied on this program. So you have your degree from Lamar University, a good, well-respected U.S. university. You have your level five diploma from the U.K. And you have your Thai degree, all for the same four-year program. And your clone has that single degree from the Philippines. Who's going to get that job? Who's going to get that position in the graduate school and the TA position? Who's going to get it? You or your club? Now, okay, it's a rhetorical question. I'm not expecting an answer. But I do think, and I'm biased, but I do think the person who has this tri-consonant tri degree will get that job they're going to be the one who gets that position in the graduate school, or they're going to be the one who gets that TA position. Okay, here's some contact information. I have a feeling that our local representatives here can also provide you with some contact information. And if you're watching on Facebook, there'll be contact information on our Facebook page, but here's some contact information for us here. I'm down here, the second one. And this website here is actually the Lamar University website which announces the partnership. So if you want to go visit that website, you can go visit it and see all the pictures where we all flew to Texas and signed all the contracts and all the agreements. Okay, thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'm happy to answer them.